All right, guys, welcome back to Phones and Drones. It was talked about, it was kind of teased, and we finally got it. The latest software version of 2022.20, it is that 0.9 release. So again, in total, this is 2022.20.9, and this brings Tesla Vision to the rest of the fleet that was still using LiDAR and all that. Now we are truly using all of the cameras instead. So as you can see on the new release notes, your vehicle is now running Tesla Vision. It will rely on camera vision coupled with neural net processing to deliver certain autopilot and active safety features. Vehicles using Tesla Vision have received top safety ratings and fleet data shows that it provides overall enhanced safety for our customers. And then it says, note that with Tesla Vision available, following distance settings are from two to seven and auto steer top speed is 85 miles an hour. So a quick call out. This was causing some people to be a little upset because prior top speed was actually 90 miles an hour. And depending on your location, this could be a little bit of a hindrance of five miles per hour when set to auto steer. So not the best, but again, this could change in a future software update. They could just be testing this out, making sure everything works great, and then going up to that 90 miles per hour threshold as well. So. Aside from that, that is obviously the biggest change and really the biggest notable one on the Dot .9 release. The rest of the updates remain the same. You have your cabin camera that unfortunately is now active. <laughs> so if you are one of those people that like to use autopilot in your phone, got to put it down. Safety first. This is now implementing that. The seatbelt system enhancement. Again, nothing new. This is where now it is using Tesla Vision to help offer some of the more uh, advanced cutting edge seatbelt uh, pre-tensor performance improvements. If it thinks you're getting in a crash, it will tighten up for you ahead of time. And then on the S and X, you have some changes to the adaptive suspension that we talked about before. And lastly, which I thought originally was the biggest feature of this uh, 2022.20 release, the free green traffic light chime being a standard feature. Now it is obviously included standard you don't need full self-driving to have that option it is here as part of this package again as typically said teslas do keep improving over time and some of these improvements are great we are actually about to go on our first drive with tesla vision so i'm excited to see how it truly works with just the cameras activated not using any of the radar and stuff we do have a model 3 if you don't follow the channel that has fsd beta and that has been using Tesla Vision for a while. And I do have to say the drive is much smoother on that when on autopilot. It is more, it makes its decision and mind up as quick as possible and is just a little smoother than what I get out of this. But let's see, there's a certain stretch on 95 in Florida that always gives me uh, pain when new lanes are introduced. So I'm gonna see if this improves. Thumbs up this video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. And as soon as we have some feedback on this new uh, Tesla Vision or a Model S refresh, We'll make sure to let you know. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.